We just got a new Halloween themed event, Trick or Treat. And we actually got some pretty good rewards, such as the Halloween spoils camo and the blood red riding hood operator skin. And we also got a few other things mixed in. So let's go unlock them. So what I've seen so far with this event is that it works pretty similar to the DNA events that we've had in the past. We got to kill things to collect the item for the event. And in this case, it's candy. And for our mastery for the event, we need to get up to a million pieces of candy collected. So in our first game here, I'm going to just see how many we can collect in one game. We're already at 39 and I already have like what three kills so we'll see just how many we can get in a game of zombies if we can get them in the dark aether because previously you haven't been able to pick up those event items in the dark aether and i want to try out our pole mount here with our new under barrel attachment and the aftermarket part on it and speaking of aftermarket parts we don't have a new one this week unfortunately but we do have a blueprint that we can unlock by completing weekly challenges and a few of those weekly challenges require to use an lmg but honestly it's probably good that we don't have an aftermarket part this week because the last two have not been very good at all so uh, maybe they can just take this week to, you know, reassess and try to make our last aftermarket part that we're going to be getting in this game actually decent. And depending on how long this takes, we might even be unlocking the Constellations end camo on our Gallo here. So we got a lot to do today. And on top of that, we also have a weekly challenge for cleaning out some strongholds. So let's just go ahead and get started on that. It'll be a good way for us to stack up on candy and get some of these challenges done. Oh, we're already at 600 candy. Let's go. Just uh, a lot more where that came from. And that is like one out of five strongholds we need to complete. Let's continue with our pest control we got four more strongholds we got to clear out oh we're already at a thousand candy so i'm thinking zombies is probably one of the better ways to get it if not like plunder or war zone or something because i'm sure in multiplayer you're not getting all this many per match and we're not even halfway through maybe they learned their mistakes from the other dna events and up the rates on these drops because before it really felt like a chore to get done like there was so much you had to unlock like we still need a million for this but it might come a lot faster than I think. It's for my life. And for the sake of testing, let's see if we get a different amount of candy per tier zone that we're in. So right now we're at 1293. I'll kill one zombie. We'll pick it up. And we are up to 1299. So we got six for that zombie. What if we take out another? Yeah, it's looking like six per zombie in tier one. Wait, this one does have a jack-o'-lantern on it or like a little basket. That was a little bit more, but how much more though? We're at 1380. Okay, so it looks like 12. So you either get six or 12 here in tier one. Let's see if that changes in a different tier. Here's some tier two zombies. We are at 1407. Okay, so it does still look like you get the same amount no matter what tier you're in. Because we just got 12 from that and then six from the other ones. But just to make sure, how many are we getting here in tier three? So this looks like it adds still six. And wait, was that 14? Was it more than that? Hold on, I'm doing math on the fly and you guys already know I can't read, so my math ain't much better. So we're at 1476. Okay, so that was six. And they go from 1488 to 1512. So it looks like you do get a, a bit more from these actual jack-o'-lantern ones in tier three, but not by much, unless I'm really off on my math, which I would not be surprised. I feel like that's, I'm, I'm getting more than 12 for those. You get more for killing elites. Is that where it's coming from? So I killed this mimic and we got six. Okay, so maybe not. The, the normal candy piles, you still get the same amount. How much candy do we get for taking one of these guys out? I can't believe we just instantly one-shot at his face. Why even try, Abomination? You're not built for this life. Now, why don't you go ahead and just give me some candy? Yeah, shoot a laser. Guess what? Shut up. Quick little muzzle. And have another one. There we go. How much are we getting from it? Did we really just get six from that? Oh, you got me fucked up. I think you would drop more. What if we try out an X-Fill real quick? We can get some of our weekly challenges done here and see how much candy we get per X-Fill. This is a little bit later game, so I think we're gonna get a bit more spawns, but we're starting at 3,100. Let's see how much candy we're at at the end of this. The only problem I'm seeing so far with grinding this way is that if you kill some zombies that are a little bit too far away, there's not that long of a timer on the, these drops. They seem to disappear pretty quickly. So it actually might be better to use something like the, the RGL and just shoot it at your feet so whatever's close to you dies. Or maybe even like a melee weapon if you can feel like uh, you're not going to get knocked while using it. Cashmere's probably work pretty good too, getting everybody in one spot. But we just got like 400 candy just from that one X fill. That's pretty good. 
and we haven't been the most efficient this game it's been more about like testing stuff out but next game i'm just gonna go straight to an exfil or an outlast and we're gonna get all these done like insanely fast oh actually the jack ripper would probably be really nice for this just sitting there revving the chainsaw i, I think i gotta bring that in next game Oh, there we go. So in about three and a quarter X fills, we got all of our weekly challenges done and about like 2000 candy. So if we just do this for the whole game, we're going to be rolling in it. Oh, wait, what mastery? Was it only 100,000? Oh, we got it done and we weren't even trying that hard to be efficient. So I definitely can't read and I don't know math at all. I thought it was a million. It was literally only 100,000. Well, that's a bit of a relief. Either way, let's go see if we can get these in the Dark Aether as well. This just might be the easiest event they've ever released. But it also did reset my candy down to zero for the Dark Aether. So I'm really hoping it didn't actually reset my candy for the event. Because it already said I unlocked the stuff. You know, no taking it back. And it does not look like they drop. Oh, wait, maybe they do. Some zombies just might not drop any candy in the Dark Aether. That's weird. I guess you can still get a little bit. But well, that's actually insane. We unlocked it all in just one game without even just focusing on getting kills the entire time. Like it literally just took me a few X kills and I was done. And actually it said I needed 100,000 to unlock that operator, but I only got 6,000 in that game. So maybe it's bugged and we just hold a fast one on them. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see until we're out of game to see if we actually got our rewards, but I did not expect to finish the event that fast. We could have got it done even faster. I was kind of just dicking around. All right, well, we got everything done here and we're leaving with an extra 2,000 candy. Let's uh, see if it actually counted. Moment of truth, let's check our event. Yeah, it's completely done. What? I don't... I don't get it, but you can do this fun sound here on the menu. Yeah, it says 100,000. We did not get near that much. Wait, no, that is a million. I'm not... I am dumb, but I'm not that dumb, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven figures. Okay. D did I get like a, a big bonus for completing all these? Oh yeah, I guess I get 1500 treats for getting up to this point. Oh, so that's not bad at all. So here's the operator skin that we just unlocked. And honestly, not bad. This is almost like bundle quality, except for, you know, this little clipping here, but, but it's a nice little horror themed little Red Riding Hood skin. Not bad. And here is the camo that we unlocked for the event. Looking pretty nice here. It's uh, all black with all the candy accents in a glowing orange. It's almost a requirement at this point for every camo that Sledgehammer adds into this game to glow in the dark. And it looks pretty nice. It, it fits pretty well. Uh, it almost reminds me of the magma event camo that we got earlier this year. Just, you know, not animated and a little bit more subtle, but not a bad looking camo at all. And here is our weekly reward blueprint for the Bell 27. And this is like Ouija board themed and it actually lights up a little bit. This is very reminiscent of Stranger Things, like where the, the lights will go off over top of the whole like alphabet on the wall for people to try to leave a message because it looks like random letters will light up on the gun. I don't know if it's actually trying to display anything though. It almost looks completely random. Let me see if I can figure out what it's saying. You guys aren't going to believe this, but it just signed Hawk Tua. And I didn't even notice this looking in the event menu, but there's actually a candy bar blueprint for the gutter knife, which looks pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a play on, you know, people always saying like, check your candy with like drugs and like razor blades in them which is something I don't think happened that much, but like, I, I'm not a historian. I, I just think this is a cool looking blueprint. And I didn't even know it, it was in there. I, I thought it was like an emblem, but I also went ahead and put the worm camo on it just to make it look extra gross. I was trying to look through like the solid color camos and like the bold camos to see if I could find like a brown camo to match the chocolate of the candy bar. And it would cover the wrapper on the blueprint, but not the actual like knife part of it. So it didn't really look that great. And here it is with the new Halloween camo on it. It's, uh, it don't really fit the blueprint a whole lot, but I just wanted to see what it would look like on here. I guess there you have it. I was not expecting to get this event done in one game of zombies, but we went ahead and did it. And I wasn't even trying to be efficient with it. You know, I was hopping in, trying to test things out to see, you know, how much candy you could get per kill. If certain things gave you more candy. And it just turns out you just get a lot in zombies and you can complete the entire event just in one 45 minute game of zombies. So this is definitely a step up from the previous DNA events that we've had in the past where it takes forever to collect everything because here you can get everything done very, very quickly and get some pretty good rewards for it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.